The Cardinals and the Cubs opening up a four-game series. It is a hot, steamy night here in St. Louis. Oh, no. Oh, yes. This is the first inning. I can tell there's going to be some controversy on this ejection. Ooh, follow through, and that one got Wilson Contreras. Hap swings all the way around. Bat gets Wilson Contreras. Remember the Osuna Will Smith incident in Atlanta. The terms backswing here, follow through in high school, mandatory bullpen on the field. Will Smith was upset about it. They had a discussion, but they moved on and continued playing. Not so much in St. Louis. That's why some catchers have chosen to use the hockey style mask. It gives... That's true of the umpires too. Some of them have switched to the helmet. Some of them have switched to the actual bucket. Anywho, Contreras has to leave the game and watch his interaction with Hap here. And Hap and Contreras with the hug. Wilson has to come out of the game. Tremendous sportsmanship. This hug tells me I know it's an accident, bad result, but it's forgiven. But that said, the pitcher doesn't forgive and actually has an interesting conversation with the replacement catcher before resuming the at bat. Marmol, that is. Michaelis goes. Ball three runs seven inches inside, upper arm shoulder height. And another message sent. That was St. Louis speaking. This was more than a foot, 16.6 inches inside. Wow, that's huh? weak. That's some weak sauce there. That was Chicago as the umpire calls the crew together. The umpires convene. Clearly intentional. I think clearly intentional. Caught him right in the hip. If you're going to get him, that's exactly where you get him. Did the job the right way. Having just done a video on this very subject, Let's go over the rules again. Both broadcasts acknowledge this was intentional, so that gives us the option of either ejecting A or warning B. Cubs want an ejection, Cardinals want a warning, but here's something St. Louis says that I want to address. Did the job the right way. So let's unpack that real quick, because they also said. So Miles Michaelis buzzes the tower with Hap, hits him waist high. The buzzes the tower part of this is what I think will solidify the decision. Maybe that's a guy who doesn't want to pitch on a hot night. He's gone. They throw him out? Wow, they just throw Michaelis out of the game. Contrary to what St. Louis said about doing it the right way by throwing below the waist, there are two problems with that. One, of course, is he threw high but missed. The second is there's no magic diagram of a batter that says up here is ejectable, but down here is good. Lest I remind you, he threw high. MLB doesn't want teams handling things this way. It's part of the instruction to umpires to take control. Sorry, that's the way that the owners want the league to tell their umpires that owners don't want their players thrown at. But more importantly, perhaps, he had one shot he missed. Have a little feel for baseball. Have a little feel for the game. Look, that's like a 1990s baseball mentality, but this is the 2020s. The league wants things done a little differently these days. Does that mean all it goes with him, right? Intentional? The manager usually goes with? Oh, that's a good question. If warnings were already in effect, yeah, that's correct. But even with no warnings in effect, you can do that. You are allowed to throw the manager out at the same time. But it looks like all he gets ejected here, arguing his starting pitcher's ejection, understandable, as opposed to getting tossed when his pitcher got tossed for throwing at the batter. It's often called an ump show. And that's exactly what we've gotten here in the first inning. Umpires go talk to the Cubs. They have to talk to the new pitcher, to the Cardinals, obviously, because... After an ejection of the pitcher, everyone's automatically warned. Warnings are now in effect for the rest of the game. Well, this has taken an interesting turn. Hot weather, the crime rate spikes. Yes, I do keep track. Ejections do spike during heat waves. There is no punishment whatsoever for Ian Happ, who hits Contreras with a bad swing. It's easy to understand why St. Louis is upset. Contreras got knocked out of the game. But we have to go to the rules. If we wanted to do anything disciplinary to Hap, we'd have to go to the rules to find a reason for it. Of course, there's backswing interference, follow through in high school if there's a runner, but just like you cannot eject a pitcher for unintentionally injuring a hitter with a wild pitch, you can't eject a batter for unintentionally injuring a catcher with a wild swing. There's the batter's box diagram, looks like Hap's foot's on the back line, barely, but legal, any part of the foot, any part of the line. In this case, you have to penalize the person who does something on purpose, intentionally. It was the pitcher. That's who gets thrown out. Can't be the batter. He didn't do it intentionally. Jack Flaherty's hot. Ian Happ knew he screwed up. Took and Ian Happ took his medicine, went to first, and didn't say a word. If nothing had been done, as you... Then you might have a beanball war instead. If it's intentional, you have to eject. 
or Ward. There is no option to do nothing. This game's going to get uglier. Because of what they did and how they did it, this is going to get worse. Sorry, y'all. The only thing that's going to get worse is the scoreboard for St. Louis. He is in. It's 9-1. Just to reiterate, warning versus ejection issue. The reason I see this as an ejection is because ball three is up and in. He tried, he failed. So because it's a repeated act on ball four, that's where I have it rise from a warning level to an ejection. If the only inside pitch this at bat was the pitch to the hip, I think you get warnings. But because of the repeat, I think that that makes it an ejection. Well, this game actually used to police itself a little bit. Now these guys try to take over. I'm all for player safety, okay? That ain't it. I can get with that statement. This game did used to police itself. The league office doesn't want that to happen anymore. Awful umpiring in this ballgame. you got to be kidding me. Uh, all around.